Oof, this problem is no joke. It's definitely a tough problem, no questions. You really have to have a solid foundation of functions, and I think the earlier problems in this category hopefully helped build that up. So let me get at it. The, the function here is t of p equals p cubed plus 16. Think of p cubed plus 16 as your big main machine, and this is where everything is going to get input in. Now the question is saying what is, uh, and it's saying if t of 2l equals 2 times t of l, what is the value of l? Let's start on the left side of this equal sign. t of 2l is saying, hey, go to your function of t, and what's your function of t right here? This is the min function of t right there, p of pq plus 16. Now, whatever is inside the parentheses, you replace that with a variable there. So here the variable is p, right? So I'm gonna replace that 2l with that p. So check this out, it'll be 2l cubed plus 16. And then I throw that equal sign there. So again, all I've done is that 2l, just replace that with a p. All that's saying is that in the function, this is a function right there, the value of p is 2l. Okay, so that's what I have here. Now let's move on to the right side of the equal sign. So I have the equal sign, now let's move on to the right side. The two in front of the t is saying that this whole function gets multiplied by two. But now instead of the p, what's inside the parentheses here? L, so replace the p with the l. So it'll be l cubed plus 16. So instead of the p, I replace that with the l because that's, that's what was inside the parentheses. But I have to multiply the whole function of t by two, so that's where I got that two from. And now it's kind of starting to look a little more like an algebraic expression that I have to solve. So 2L cubed will be, it won't be 2L cubed, the final answer here should be 2L times 2L times 2L, which will actually be 8L cubed plus 16 equals 2L cubed plus 32. But this is getting distributed here and there. Uh, let's combine the like terms now. I'll bring this 2L cubed over here, so it'll be 8L cubed minus 2L cubed. And what I'll do is I'll bring the 16 on this side, so it'll be 32 minus 16. And now I'll just bring it up here. 8L cubed minus 2L cubed is 6L cubed, and 6L cubed will equal 16. Now divide both sides by 6, and I'll have L cubed equals 16 over 6. And 16 over 6 is the same thing as 8 over 3. So I know that L cubed, where can I write this now? Let's go up here. So we know that L cubed equals 8 over 3. Now, here comes a little bit of a tricky part, right? We're trying to figure out what L is. So how are we going to get to that? If this is L cubed, I'm, I can take the cube root of this. So if I take the cube root of this, and I take the cube root of cube root of the other side, it'll just leave me with L equals cube root of eight over three. Um, so that's it. So L will equal cube root of eight over three.